Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest where we're in a bit of a predicament. Unfortunately, Icarus is very low on health. Honestly, let's let's oh jeez. Okay, so Nope, nope, no 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 nope. Okay, wait, is Icarus in the den? Icarus is in the den, that's the most important part. Unfortunately, all the other pups are scattering, which is not good. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Yeah, Icarus is the one we really don't want getting grabbed, but I think Petra is going to spend a little time in the den with Icarus because, yeah, the territory, I guess it's still holding out okay, but... I'm definitely concerned because Icarus's health is dropping quite quickly and we did have to sleep a little bit, but I don't want to risk waiting too long. Oh, well that's a relief on 4% health, no less. All right, um, hmm, how are the pup's food doing? I think I'm going to sleep one more time because we don't have a lot of energy <laughs> and we're going to need to go hunting. So I think we want to make sure that uh, we have enough to do that. So let's sleep. That'll also give Icarus the chance to regen some health. But I think after the difficulty she faced with illness in Lost River, Petra is very, very relieved. Okay, it's not quite a full bar of energy, but it's close enough. She's not about to waste any more time. Oh boy, and yep, I think I know where we need to head off to starting out here. Let's go this way because this is being claimed and we cannot let, I think, oops, okay, Polaris is still going in the den. I think, yep, that's Rescue Creek. That's the one who's been giving us problems. We've had one particular wolf. If we look at our known wolves, it is, um, where did he go? Oh. Oh, some of these wolves left. Okay. Um, that was, oh, those are the really bold ones that we had seen previously. What happened to... No, it's 102M. Why did I think it was 106F? This... Oh, 106F is Pinnacle. That's the one who had died. That's what I was getting confused. It's this Hecker, 102M. He's been causing us some problems. Uh, and it's interesting to me that these wolves actually left, we can see here. So they're no longer on the map. They went back to their birth pack uh, because they couldn't find mates. So... Maybe that's why they were so cavalier about hanging out around here, is they knew they were heading home soon. They knew they didn't want to stick around, so they were not too bothered by us because they knew they weren't going to be in our hair all that much longer. But yeah, um, anyway, that's an interesting update from Known Wolves there. Uh, but we're going to head over here and try to reclaim this, because I think that Rescue Creek is one of the packs that Petro's the most worried about. We actually met the Molly's leader very, very briefly, and he was pretty easy to intimidate. In fact, he ran before I even realized he was from the Molly's pack. So I don't think Petro's overly concerned uh, about him right now, and I think he's fairly old as well. Yeah, he's seven years old. He's the oldest leader we've met so far, so he's probably picking his battles. Uh, considering at seven years old, he's probably not in his prime any longer. So... Oh, there we go. We got this elk herd running. Let's try and do a quick hunt here. And I'm on the fence about whether I want to have Charon come with us or whether we want him to head home. I think we're going to try to make this a fairly short trip. So we probably want him to stay with us uh, and just give us some backup as we go to reclaim from Rescue Creek. No, 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 no. You go down. You go down and stay down. One more bite should do it. There we go. This is much closer to home, too, so that's good news for us. Uh, unlike that other kill that we made in Molly's territory, thanks to those dispersals, I think that was the Prospect Peak dispersals, and they still seem to be alive and well from what we can see on Known Wolves thus far. Oh boy, Rescue Creek was here, and not that long ago, by the, by the scent of it... Hold on a minute, we literally just reinforced that hex. We literally just reinforced that hex nearby. Are they sneaking? They are sneaking, I think. 
Four. Okay, you. Get out. You're gonna get bitten at least once for that. Petra's becoming a lot more of a strategist, but she wants to make sure that this hecker doesn't get any ideas. That's the probably little sister of the one who we've been having problems with, but she thought she could get away with doing a sneak here. Oh my goodness, time to go reinforce the scent post again, I guess. Oh my goodness, she literally probably just went and marked over it. She did! Unless we accidentally had put it in the other territory by mistake? I was pretty sure we hadn't, though. Alright, well, whatever the case may be, there's gonna be one here now. Can we reinforce this? Yeah, this was the territory hex we were in! Look at that! Oh my goodness, yeah. Rescue Creek is gonna be the one we have problems with. And I think Petra has her eye on both that, um... One out or one one thousand and two. Let me look here on known wolves. This guy's a troublemaker, and this one's a troublemaker. And eight hundred F, I guess, was the pack leader. I don't remember when we met her, but we haven't seen her half as frequently as we have the others. Anyway, um, I think, as I was saying, Petra's becoming a bit more of a strategist. She's going to push back harder if they keep pushing her. So she's going to try to claim a little bit more of their territory than usual. What the? Oh, it's a chunk of meat again. Okay, we, can, we don't need to worry about that. She's going to try to claim some of their territory up here then, too. Every time they push her, she's going to try to expand the buffer. So I think this is just how we're going to roll this game. Petra likes her large territory, and especially when a particular pack is threatening her, she's going to give them as little reason as possible to go that deep into her territory. We may have some company here. Stranger Wolves from Rescue Creek heading back in the direction of this hex, which we need to claim next. I wonder... I wonder if they're still over here, or if this is the one that we already chased out. Well, we're gonna find out here. This is in the hex that was taken from us, so we're reclaiming this anyway. But I am curious... Are these wolves still here? Are they still thinking they're gonna get to cause further problems? because that is not the way this works. Uh, I think, too, with uh, 102, it's gonna start to get to be on site if he's not careful, if he doesn't mind himself. And speaking of, I just want to see if this is him, because I think Petra's starting to believe that he might need to be taught a lesson. If he keeps popping up, uh, we, we might have to, like, go for him a bit more. Uh, that's the thing that I think will be interesting with known wolves, is you can tell if one wolf is continuing to cause problems. Okay, you've been running pretty dang fast by the look of it. Yeah, this 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 trail, the wolves that made it were haul and tail. Oh, and there's something on the ground there. I think it was an antler. Alright, he's headed back into his own territory. Well, I say he, but it could be any number of wolves. But we're not going to worry too much about that. It's not worth the time. We just need to get home. Okay, I don't I don't care that much about fleas at present. Antler. I think that's what we just tripped over. Or maybe this is... Oh no, these are different ones. Okay, well, while we're here, we may as well bring this one back. But let's go and uh, we'll mark this territory. Oh good, we pretty much claimed over it anyway. We just need to start actually claiming the territory. And then we'll head back to the pups and make sure that they get fed. And here we are. We've brought back this antler, but we have also brought back food. There's Thor, Polaris, Triton, Eris, Poppy, and last but not least, Icarus. Oh, how's he doing? He's up to 30% health, so that's a lot better than when we left him. And fortunately, he's no longer sick, so that's a very, very good thing. I think that's a huge relief for Petra. Maybe let's get some water bowl here, too. We do have a stream that's, like, right over the hill here, so that's very nice for if we need to just get a very brief, uh, uh, very, very brief little hunger boost. You do get a little bit of hunger from drinking from the stream. So that's always nice. But yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead, we'll play with these guys a little bit, and then we'll get some sleep. Our, our schedule's a little bit messed up, but I think if we get some rest pretty quickly here, we'll have enough energy to get through most of the day the next day here. All right, and morning is here. Can we feed these guys at all? Because that might be a good thing to do just a little bit of if we have the food for it. How's our territory looking? Ah, gosh dang, all right. 
We've already got uh, already got some hexes that are decaying, so we're gonna have to make haste to go and reclaim those. Now I think what we'll do today, we'll let these guys finish eating this, and then we'll probably take Charon and head back to the carcass that we killed yesterday and tried to eat. And then I think Patra can handle the territory marking on her own today. She's probably not going to be doing a lot of new claiming, especially because she doesn't have a ton of energy, so that's fine. And Icarus is recovering from his illness well, which is good. So I think let's let these guys finish. Poppy, please don't wander too far away. I'm pretty sure Poppy is our runt, by the way, because you can see she was very, very... Uh, very, very small compared to the other pups still. Let's send them in the den here, because I think they're all done. Yeah, it looks like it. And there's a real storm blowing in. Oh, boy. All right, Caron, let's go get some food, and then I think I'll leave him home with the pups, because he, he does a pretty good job taking care of him. I think he's a very protective father. And then we'll head out and uh, see if we can reinforce some of our territory here, especially this bit. Well, we do have some energy left, and I have noticed that these two hexes here are not that uh, not that weakly claimed. So I think we'll actually, or they're not that strongly claimed, they're pretty weak. So I think we'll go try and snag at least the nearer of the two, if not both of them. Depends on how much our energy ends up holding out, and if we're able to do it real stealthy-like. If we get caught, we'll probably leave, unless it's just a 1v1, because running into more than one stranger wolf is going to be pretty dangerous right now, but we might be able to just nibble on Molly's territory a little bit here uh, and uh, claim some of that for ourselves, just so that we can get that extra buffer, although Molly's hasn't been bothering us that much as of late. Oh boy, the Prospect Peak dispersals are over here. I smell them. Well, we're not going to bother with going to say hello because I just want to sneak in here and claim the over this we really, really quickly if we can before the... Oh, we didn't actually get it. Never mind. Uh, before the Molly's pack notices us. There we go. We've claimed this hex for ourselves and we can head out and put our scent post right on the border here. All right. So that wasn't too bad. We got a, a couple new hexes and no fights with stranger wolves, thankfully. And here we are, we made it back, and Polaris is just chilling, extremely far from the den for some reason. Buddy, what you doing? Charon's probably got an eye on him, but uh, that, that's a little bit concerning. I think we'll go make sure that he's not getting himself into trouble, buddy. Yeah, that's right. You'd better head back. But we've returned, oh my goodness, we've returned safely. It looks like he, oh, he found something out here is what's going on. That would make sense. Where is our... Den. Oh, everybody's everybody's up behind it. Okay, maybe let's call everybody back down here. Just for safety, just so that nobody has to climb over the den if um if problems occur. Let's call everybody over. Hello, Icarus, Poppy, and Triton. Can we please get moving? They are just completely ignoring us. Alright, let okay, please let me bring the pups over here. <laughs> Goodness sakes. Well, I think we are going to go ahead and leave this off here for today, though, because it is getting to be about that time again. This is how the territory is looking, by the way. Uh, so we're getting closer to that three hex buffer, and we did claim some more. Would you please, for the love of all that's good. Oh my goodness. Everyone wants to sleep up here is the problem. Uh, I'm going to work on getting the pups back to a more acceptable... Okay, you know what? We're going in the den. We're just going in the den. We'll, we'll let him back out for sleep later, but this is the easiest way to consolidate them into one place here. Goodness sakes. Yep, that's what I wanted to be careful of. All right. Uh, and with that, we'll go ahead and we'll leave this off here for today because it is getting to be about that time again. But what a relief that Icarus is doing better. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.